Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Jim Palmer's famous No Hassle Newsletters. Newsletters are the best client retention tool available and the secret to getting more profitable repeat business and the customer referrals you deserve. With Jim's customer loving content and done for you newsletter templates, you'll get your newsletter out the door and into your customers' hands in less than one hour per month. Become a member today at www.nohasslenewsletters.com. Hey everybody, Jim Palmer, the Newsletter Guru, your dream business coach. As always, I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. If I look a little weary, it's because I just finished doing my uh, free tele-seminar, How to Build a Dream Business in 2016. We had a couple hundred people. It was amazing. Uh, we were going to go for an hour. I ended up going for like an hour and 15 or 20 minutes. I answered, I think, 14 or 15 questions. And one of the questions that actually came in a little too late for me to answer so I'm hoping that the person who asked it will watch this video and I'm gonna answer it so sometimes people say Jim you always say uh, entrepreneurs and small business owners and aren't they the same why don't you just say one or the other well I think there is a difference and the difference in my opinion is one of mindset you know an entrepreneur well let me give you the small business owner first so if you go down go down the road wherever you live and you go to a little shopping center and you're going to have your pizza shop and your dry cleaner, your jewelry store, maybe there'll be a, um, who knows if there's a shoe repair place anymore. But anyway, a little strip center. The person that runs that business is most likely a small business owner. So if you're, if you're running the jewelry store, you've got glass cases, you've got diamond rings and watches, you sell all kinds of things going on there. And basically... What that means is if you're going to be succeeding, you need to keep selling more of your jewelry in order to make, uh, to make a nice living and keep growing. So a small business owner is always thinking about selling more of whatever it is they sell, whether it's a product or service. An entrepreneur tends to be more uh, wealth creating instead of just sales generating, wealth creation mode. Excuse me, let me get rid of one of the little stupid mess alarm messages. I have a call in 10 minutes. I couldn't see myself anymore. Anyway, um, so an entrepreneur thinks more about creating wealth and not just, and not just um, increasing sales. So what does that look like? Well, let's take the same jewelry store owner. Suppose that jewelry store owner maxes out. He can't put any more cases in. He's like churning tons of people, got all the help he can afford, all the people they can fit in there. Maybe he's doing a million dollars a year and he just can't get above that because there's just not enough space. The small business owner in the jewelry store guy's mentality is, well, it's time to open up a second location because I've got to find a way that I can now sell more jewelry. Do you know what I mean? So it's again, it's more sales-based, got to sell more of my product. If the jewelry store owner had an entrepreneurial mindset, he would be looking for other ways to create wealth within his current uh, business. So what would that look like? Well, let's say he is doing a million dollars a year and he looks and says, you know, the average independent jewelry store business does half a million dollars a year. He might put together some kind of a group coaching program. He might build an information product or online training program. Here's how I took my 1600 square foot store and pushed a million dollars in jewelry out the door. And so maybe he can start doing group calls. Maybe he starts selling some other things besides jewelry what are some very other common things that jewelry store owners uh that their customers buy that maybe uh he could also sell or something like that so it's not just jewelry multiple streams of revenue it's where it's at and i think for the most part small business owners have one revenue stream it's their main product whether it's a main uh, revenue source maybe it's a product or service but that's it how do i get more 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 of that and an entrepreneur thinks how can i leverage my skill my talent leverage the asset of uh, some of the people on my team and create additional revenue streams so that I can keep doing more and more and more. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll end with this. The best way to create a very nice large income is often to cobble together several smaller revenue streams instead of just trying to push one all the way up there. You have several revenue streams, some small, some big, I'll meet them, but they all cobble together. They all add up to be a very nice income. That's usually the one of the easiest ways to create a really nice dream business type revenue.
All right, hey, be sure to check out Stick Like Glue Radio. That's my weekly podcast dedicated to helping you create an everlasting bond with your customers so they stay longer, spend more, and refer more, all great things in your business. Also, check out Dream Biz Academy. My next event is May 4th, 5th, and 6th in beautiful San Diego, California. And that'll be my only dream business event for 2016, so you do not want to miss it. We're probably a third of the way sold out. We got well over 90 days to go. It's going to be a great event. You can check all the details out as they are now at Dream Biz Academy, dreambizacademy.com. I'm adding a few more things. They're not on the website, but what you see on the website is enough to make you say, yes, I don't, I do not want to miss this and get locked out. So check that out, dreambizacademy.com. Before the day's out, do one nice thing for somebody today. Random acts of kindness, just one by everybody is going to make the world a much nicer place. That is it. Until next week, another great episode of News Utter Guru TV. My name is Jim Palmer. I'm your host. I'm your dream business coach, and as always, I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. You take good care.